The Foggy Battle Game Mode is a new PvE and PvP event that takes place in Blockade. Although it takes place in a Blockade map, the rules are quite different from the Blockade Game Mode itself. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining how to play this mode properly, and how every single week you can win this game mode and get all the rewards for you and your squad. And not the displaced affection. The first thing you're going to want to do once the match starts is to go ahead and kill all the zombies in your area. The faster you kill the zombies and pick up the boxes that they drop, the better start you'll have in an event. When you're collecting boxes at the start, be careful of enemy squads because there's a decent amount of enemy squads in this matchup. So there will be squads that you will run into, and squads will drop boxes once you kill them. So if you defeat an enemy player, make sure you finish them and grab their boxes. When you are fighting enemy teams, don't get too distracted from the main objective. The main objective is earning points by killing zombies and killing bosses. A lot of squads were not getting points, and our team was one of them because we kept fighting so many teams. We had about four teams on us all the time, and after looking at the map, I quickly realized at the top, we have three squads that will spawn, and at the bottom, there will be two squads. And at the left, there will be one squad on the left side. So for the three left bosses, there's only most likely going to be two teams that fight over there. And as you can see here, nobody even went over there. So everybody was on the right side of the map because that's where most teams spawn. I'm so bad. I can't shoot her. What the fuck? What the hell is that? Just respawn. In the preliminary rounds, once all the special zombies are dead, the only thing you could really do now is either kill zombies or kill players. And at the end of this match, most players will have a whole lot of points that you can steal once you kill them. So the best thing to do is to PvP and kill enemy squads. So once you make it to finals, it's going to be a little bit different. There's going to be no mini bosses. Finals is going to give you a countdown of a spawn for a giant aberration boss. There's going to be three giant aberrations, two on the right side of the map and one on the bottom left. Again, the left side is probably going to be the best side to go to because only two squads will spawn over there. So most likely only two squads will be over at that boss while everybody else will be fighting for the right two bosses. Cause I'm laughing cause I
As you see, it was fairly easy for us this time. After we killed that first squad, they left us alone and went to a different boss. So we got an easy win this time. There are two other bosses that you can go after you kill your boss and fight, but there's really no point because all you really need to do is just kill one boss, get good DPS on that boss, make sure you have a high percent, and then you win. So after that, what you can do is go over and fight more people and just have some fun, make it hard for them. It's up to you, but at this point in the event, you've already won. But that's pretty much for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you found this helpful and i hope this helps you guys win the next event for foggy battle if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe and share the video and i'll be posting more content more tips and tricks very soon guys i appreciate you guys and i hope you have a great day